Hey YouTube, Zach here with Savage Traveling. Today we're talking about the Charles Schwab High Yield Investor Checking Account and the debit card that accompanies it. Ah, it's a great traveling tool. I've used it for a couple years now. I've took it all over the world. It's never been denied. Uh, the money's always there. There's a few pros and a few cons I want to talk about today just as, you know, to inform you guys and to help you decide if it's a card that you would like to have in your wallet or not. But, um, let me be the first to tell you that if you're going to be traveling anywhere, foreign or domestic, it's it's there's a, it's a no-brainer unless like say you already have a bank that offers these perks but uh, I didn't and uh, well the cards free too so uh, it's free to get you don't have to maintain a balance no monthly fees and your uh, you know ATM fees are rebated so every time you use an ATM either foreign or domestic and if any fees come with that Charles Schwab will refund your account at the end of the month. Like, so, I mean, that was new to me and I thought it was a great thing. And uh, so I've been using it for the last couple of years, like I said, foreign and domestically. And uh, like I said, I've never had a problem with it. Uh, it either, the account even earns a little bit of interest sometimes too. So that's cool. Uh, it's federally uh, FDIC insured up to 250,000 like most banks are, you know, most, you know, hometown banks, I guess I'd call them. Um, you know, you're insured up to so much money if the bank happens to go out of business or whatever natural disaster. I don't know what the you know the terms are exactly, but this uh, Charles Schwab account is no different. Um, like I said, I, I mentioned no minimum account balance, no monthly main, no monthly maintenance fees. Uh, the debit card is free. You get a free first order of checks, a uh, free leather checkbook. You know, which I do use the checks. I got one bill I pay every once in a while with the check. You know, it's. That's handy. They're handy occasionally. Uh, no foreign transaction fees. So this is on top of the, you know, the uh, the ATM fee rebates. Is uh, say you're in Europe or Asia or wherever, and a lot of banks will charge you one or two percent foreign transaction fees on top of whatever you're buying. You know, and uh, you know with this card it doesn't. So like it's like I said, it's real travel traveler friendly. Uh, like I said, unlimited ATM fee rebates. So like I said, you can use the ATM as many times as you want in a month and they're gonna refund you every fee that you accrue in that time frame. So I mean, it's hard to argue with that for free. Uh, no minimum initial deposit. Like I said, you don't have to have any money to sign up. Cause I you know even my hometown bank here locally, I have to maintain a $50 balance and that was, that's the same $50 I had to put in at the beginning. So, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, you can. Cash withdrawal uh, up to $1,000 daily, and you can purchase limit up to $15,000. So, I mean, it's a pretty versatile card, you know, if you want to really uh, give it a run for its money, so to say. Uh, other than that, you know, the bad things that it does offer, or that bad things that could be considered bad, is that it's a hard pull on your. Uh, credit report when you go to sign up for this card. So say you have questionable credit and you're thinking about getting the Charles Schwab High Yield Investor Checking Account debit card. So you go to sign up, you put in your credit information or whatever and they deny you. So you're getting a hard pull on your credit and a denial possibly and then you no card to speak of for for all that trouble. So you might want to be careful if you're on the line of your credit, you might want to go run your credit score through uh, Credit Karma or something to get an idea where you're at just to make sure you're not wasting your time and then, you know, screwing your credit up even more. So, uh, and another thing that you could consider a con is maybe uh, you have to open a, it's a, sh a brokerage account. It's a, a Schwab one brokerage account, I guess. And uh, it's just right there in line with your checking account and you can put money in it if you want to try to like play the market, I guess. I don't know much about it. I haven't investigated at all with it. But it's definitely there if you kind of want to try to invest a little. There's a whole lot of investing opportunities with Charles Schwab that I haven't, I don't know anything about. So I'm just going to mention them here. Beyond that, I, you can uh, go, go investigate for yourself and see if you want to try to gamble with the markets right now. Um, and here's some cons that I found out on my own that are um, that's something that uh, that might that is definitely to be taken into consideration when you are thinking about using this card for money here or how far is uh it takes about four days to you know because okay you cannot load you cannot up uh, you cannot deposit cash at a local charles schwab uh, bank so say you do have a charles schwab bank near you with this account uh, you can't go and deposit cash you have to either you have to like they saw they've sent me deposit slips 
but they're for checks to send in. So I, in this day and age, you just use your phone if you're depositing a check. I mean, everybody knows that. So uh, it's it's kind of a con that you have to like, to load cold hard cash onto this account, you have to put it in your hometown bank and then transfer it to Charles Schwab. And then on top of that, it takes four days. And then on top of that, if you happen to do it near a weekend, it's gonna add a couple of days at least to that four, three or four days, because it tells you right there before you agree to transfer money that it's gonna take a few days, and it's what it is. I mean, it's just one of the cons that comes along with this card. It's, I assume, because it's a free card. Like, you know, you come on. You're getting a lot for free in my eyes, so this is just one of those things. You just gotta prep and plan and prepare. And it's not my main card when I'm at home either. So like I said, you know, I mainly use it for international travel. Uh, I don't use ATMs here in the States. I just don't, I never, I don't need cash here, so, or if I do the little cash I have, I don't usually have to draw from ATMs. So uh, I, and if I do, I have a bank card at my local branch here. And it's one of those things. Like I said, it's a great card for traveling and I don't, like I said, uh, like I said the, the few cons that I could come up with are the four, four days plus to deposit money in the account and the fact that you can't, I don't have a local Charles Schwab uh, branch, so it really doesn't matter to me. I just looked it up one day to say, hey, I'll go deposit some cash in the account just to you know, say I did it. I do have an account with them and maybe I can see what other things they offer in the lobby or whatever, but the nearest branch is an hour plus away from me driving and if I can't deposit cash, there's really no reason for me to go inquiry further. So, I mean, I do have a hometown bank account, so it's no problem for me to just to go in and just transfer the money right over and then, you know, wait. <laughs> oh, you know, sometimes it's, I swore it's taken a week sometimes. Like, you don't want to get the, or a holiday or a weekend, say it's a holiday weekend and you happen to do it at the beginning of it or something, like it just, it's going to draw it out even further than you expected. But like I said, for like say you're in Thailand or a place that has stiff ATM fees, this is this card is amazing like i said because for a guy like me my bank accounts none of my bank accounts i have a couple different bank accounts that i use for online business and i use for personal business and none of them offer perks like this for international travel you know or aiming domestically with the atm fees i mean all of them charge a foreign transaction fee and all of them definitely take the money for the fees and they don't refund it to me at the end of the month, you know? So uh, I know some people's do. I know some people have uh, checking accounts that do this and good on them, but I don't. <laughs> and I don't, I can't get one locally. So this is the next best thing because even if I got one far away, I'd still have to transfer money from my home down bank to it. So might as well just use Charles Schwab. And it's a, like a big name brand that, you know, they're all over the TV and I mean, I, I you hope you can trust them, right? So, uh, you know, it's one of those things. So, anyways, guys, I think that's all I got to say about the uh, Charles Schwab High Yield Investor Checking Account Debit Card and why it's just a great thing for international travel. So, uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, sign up. You know, for uh, well, please like and subscribe if you like more videos like this because I go over travel topics. I go traveling occasionally, and uh, and you know, do a lot of things here in the United States that I try to hope are cool and we're trying to make cooler and funner things happen as we go so anyways thanks for watching guys and peace